So basically what I want to show you first before we get any further is kind of the complete um, finished product product of what we're going to do. Um, and all the documentation and everything is there online. But essentially what we're going to do is we're going to um, build the machine learning model um, very quickly within a couple minutes um, without knowing any data science and just using Watson's auto um, artificial intelligence application. And that's going to run a bunch of algorithms and then um, optimize and and give you eight different um, possible models. We're going to deploy one of those models and then create a web application to actually talk to our um, uh, deployed machine learning model. So um, you do not need to know any sort of data science for this, um, but this is kind of what it looks like. And don't worry about the UI. Um, I only spent a few hours on it, so it's not very pretty or anything like that. But mostly it's just showing you how easy it is to use these features, even if you're not a data scientist. So what we have here is our insurance charges estimator. Um, and you can see it's the, it's, the estimation is made by IBM Watson Machine Learning and uh, Watson Auto AI. So essentially, um, we have a data set that has age, gender, BMI, children, smoker, and region. And it has a charge. And that's kind of how much you're going to pay for your insurance charges. So um, this is kind of our deployed model. And we picked our best one out of the eight that um, Auto AI created. And now we're going to run through some different um, test case scenarios where we put in different fields and we try to predict that. And I'll show you kind of what is happening. So also not, uh, what, what you want to note is that we're using Watson Studio to kind of create and manage our application. And Auto AI is actually building our models. And then Watson Machine Learning is taking all of these inputs and then predicting our insurance charge. So that's kind of what's going on under the hood. So we put in our age, um, gender, BMI, children, smoker, and region, and we click predict, and that's when we're using our model to actually create a charge. So you can see this insurance charge is very similar to some of the data that we have in our data set. Um, and again, we got 16,000 here because we clicked smoker. So you can see that once we switch from not smoker to smoker, we get a much higher insurance charge, which is um, kind of what we would expect with um, insurance charges for smokers. And lastly, we're going to change this BMI to 30. So we're going to increase the BMI quite a bit from a healthy range to a more unhealthy range. And we'll see how that um, affects our insurance charges that's predicted with, from our machine learning model. So you can see here that um, the insurance prediction is now $3,000 um, more because our BMI went up, which is kind of makes sense with, with uh, thinking that um, the higher your BMI and the more unhealthy your, your weight to height ratio is, the more you're expected to pay for insurance. So this is kind of the application we're going to build. I'll take you step by step to, to uh, show you how to build this, um, but this is this is kind of an educational experience and just know that, you know, um, this is really for you to learn and understand how to use auto AI and machine learning, not for just this data set board, but other data sets as well. And um, we are doing a regression problem, but this could be done for binary classification, any other sort of classification problem. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and kind of get um, into the main steps of this.